Hi. So next topic in our MDP series of video we are going to learn is how to make use of insert delete functions, insert delete operations for the standard table, for the custom table through MDP class. So here for this demo I have created one table Z matnar underscore price and through MDP class I will insert delete the data in this custom table. So here data I want to update as a material pricing data and my key fields are matnar, vkorg and vtworg. Matnar is from the Mara table and vkorg and vtweg from the sales table mvke. Apart from this I want to update matcal material group from Mara, maktg that is material description and KBETR, this is the price which user will maintain through the conditional record. That price you have to update in this table. So first we will um, understand how to read the pricing table and then we will start the creating creation of AMDP class. So first we will check the table details ZMATNAR underscore price. So here you can see all the field and data element in which I want to update. So now the table is blank. Okay. Now the important part here is the pricing. So from where to read the price? See in the sales side whenever we are creating any sales order. So based on the sales condition in this condition type we can see some price comes automatically like ZR01. So whenever you create a sales order this price will come automatically. So in order to comes the price automatically in sales order, we create a conditional record through T code VK11, we can change that through VK12, etc. So now my requirement is I want to read the price of the material which is maintained for this condition ZR01. Now let's see how to identify table behind this condition type. Now if you go to VK11 to create a pricing condition record, here we have to enter the condition and once we click press enter or click on key combination, if the access sequence is maintained then you can find out here the different access sequence. So those are different combinations against which a user can maintain the pricing. So here my requirement is I want to read the price at this third level, material release status. Okay. So now from where to identify the table? So for this, go to condition tab, condition T code V slash 06. In the position, we'll give condition number ZR01. Select and go to detail. First here we have to check the access sequence. So here access sequence is PR02. Now for access sequence go to V slash 07. Position enter the access sequence name number and after selecting this double click on access. So here we can see different tables are there, hmm? 10, 20, this is repeated, 40. Those three tables are there. So here we can see the table number. Table number for this is 304, which I want to use. Material with release status. Here the table number is 304. So how to check this table? So if you go to SE2L and enter 304, okay, this will not work. So before this 304, we have to add A. Okay. Click on display. And here you can see all the key fields of this table. Now see the content. So here we can see different pricing maintained against the material. Okay. So take example, I want to read the material ID S20 star. 
So here we can see different conditional records are created. Okay. So from this table, our task is to select the K and U uh, K and UMH for passing the matnar sales of detail and important is the date valid too. Here if you can see for the material S201 there are two record because the first pricing was valid only in the 10th of October 2023. After that the new pricing is valid from 15 okay till 9999. So our requirement here is first you have to read this can UMH which is valid on today's date and after selecting this KN UMH from this table to read the amount we have to go to other table KONP here I will enter at condition number okay see here it is 1350 now cross check this with the VK12 for this, I will go to VK12 or VK13, condition Z01, material with release status, sales of distribution channel and material. See the price here, 1350, okay, which is matching, which is matching as per this KONP table record. So now our requirement is First, we'll select data from some field. We'll select from Mara, that is Matnar, Material Group, etc. And then we'll select data from MVKE based on the sales org, and also from the MAKT for the description, and then from A304 and KONP. And finally, we'll insert the data in this table. So let's switch to our Eclipse edit tool and start making the class. So here, right click on our favorite package, new, web class, ZMDP04, it's a 05 underscore I will give here crude operation. Okay, CRUD. Crude operations MDP demo. Click on next. Select the request. Now, here we can see the default signature of the class. So first, add the interface to give the power of AMDP class, that is IF underscore AMDP underscore marker HDB. Then this time, I will create the instance method, the static method, class method, update underscore matner underscore price. And here, for this method, I will be using only single importing value, importing field as IP underscore matnar of type matnar. So I am taking only material as the input for my class. Okay, implementation update matnar price is missing. So definitely after declaring, we have to go for implementation. Click here, add implementation for update price. And here, as we have done in all previous classes, by database procedure for language SQL script. And this time, no options because we want to perform insert operations. So, directly using all the table which you want to use. I want to use Mara. I want to use MAKT for description, for sales area MVKE, then A304 to read the condition record number, and KONP for the amount, and ZMATNAR underscore price 
to update the pricing data okay now first now here i will declare some variable for current date and also to read the number of records of internal table so lv underscore date of date and then second i will use lv underscore count one integer then i will use one more variable here lv underscore count two again of type integer okay still i'm working so all this table i have to use now first what we'll do i want the current date in a variable okay to pass that date in that a304 table here we check date bi that is validity end date we have to select the conditional record only which is valid today onwards okay for that we require current date so first i will select current underscore current underscore date into lv underscore date from dummy okay so in lv underscore date we'll get the current date fine now my first internal table let's say it that is internal table underscore matnar equal to here i will select first master data hmm? that is mara mandate is the first field then from mara i am going to select matnar then from mara only i will select material group matkal then i want to select description from makt from makt maktg material description in caps the next i want from mvke vkorg okay all those fields i explain here which we have to use in different tables okay like here 304 here like mara hmm? so before selecting data first check in the table which fields you want to use okay so mvkg then after vkorg next field i want to select from mvke as vtweg and here we write from mara as mara inner join makt as makt then join condition on mara mandate equals to makt mandate then second condition on mara matnar equals to makt matnar and makt that is language makt sprs here i am passing as constant value e okay then here i want to inner join on mvke as mvke and here okay and here on condition i will use as mara dot so first always take the mandate mara mandate equals to mvke dot mandate and mara dot matnars equal to mvke dot matnar where condition where mara matnar equals to from the importing parameter ip underscore matnar 
check the syntax error here it is makt okay so as of now no error okay let's add the client as well in this in this where clause okay mara dot mandate equal to session client i will use which we have learned in our previous session check the errors okay all this we have to use fine so in the first internal table see after declaring of the class after adding the interface amdp and creating of one static meter update matnar price first what i have done i have selected data from the mara mkt and mvke table or master data fine now after this first we'll check whether any records are there or not in the it underscore matnar and then we'll do the next remaining data selection and updation logic